You're looking at a real estate video I shot with the Sony a6300. Buttery, smooth, 4K, slow motion footage recorded at 24 frames per second. Hold up, that can't be right. 4K slow motion recorded at 24 frames per second? I guess so. Recently, I've been thinking about upgrading my camera for the sole purpose of increasing my image quality for work. The camera I've been using is the Sony a6300. This is an affordable camera with some very useful features for filming real estate. For example, the S-Log2 Gamma is phenomenal for extra dynamic range, so windows won't be blown out when exposing for the interior. This camera also shoots full HD 1080p at 60 frames per second, which allows for slowing down the footage in post. Slow motion is the standard for real estate videography because any bumps or bouncing in camera movement will be significantly less noticeable. My movement was so slow that it's imperceptible. For as long as I've been filming real estate, this standard of recording has gotten the job done. But come on, it's 2019, we should all be shooting 4K. While 1080p is called full HD, 4K is called Ultra HD and it has four times as many pixels as 1080p. You're able to see more fine details that are usually lost at lower resolutions. Now for slow motion real estate videos, I could have gotten a camera that shoots 60 frames per second at 4K. But I always wanna see if I could use what I already have and here's what I came up with. The Sony a6300 can shoot 4K, but only at 24 frames per second. This means I don't have the option to slow down the footage in post at least by regular means, but I'll get to that. Since I can't slow down in post, I had to slow down at the shoot. What you saw in the beginning of this video was my attempt to maneuver the gimbal as slowly as possible to get smooth movements, but it ended up being faster than I wanted anyway. Here's where optical flow comes to play. Premiere Pro has an option under time interpolation that you could set to optical flow, and then you could go ahead and time remap for slow motion. Optical flow allows low frame rate footage to be slowed down as if it were shot at a higher frame rate. So is 4K 24 frames per second on the Sony a6300 worth it for slow motion real estate videos? What makes this 4K look so good is that this camera actually records in 6K and then downscales the footage into 4K. So we're squeezing all that detail into a lower resolution, which makes everything look much sharper. Not only that, but color correcting with 4K footage was significantly much easier. Any noise or grain that would normally appear with 1080p gets lost in the amount of pixels of 4K. Another thing that contributes to the high quality of this 4K is the recording bitrate. This camera shoots at 1080p 60 frames per second at 50 megabits per second, but its 4K recording at 24 frames per second has 100 megabits per second. We're getting more bits per second per frame, giving us a lot more image information to work with in post. This means that pushing exposure won't be so problematic because we're still going to end up with a relatively clean image. And a clean image doesn't need heavy denoising. And I think that's why my 1080p footage ended up looking a little bit soft, because of the amount of color correcting and denoising that was applied. But with 4K footage, I no longer have to do that. So now I could film slow motion 4K videos without having to buy a new camera. To my fellow camera peoples out there who are afraid of stepping away from higher frame rates, I'm here to tell you that it's possible. It's not that bad, you just have to experiment a little and see what works for you. Try it out, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.